guys what's up um we're gonna be at my trail today and we're basically gonna be doing our videos like gmbn if you know that youtube channel where there's a where there's a bunch of people who make the youtube videos but they aren't always all together in every single one of them so that's kind of what we're gonna do here and today we're gonna go and i'm gonna show you my trail and i'm gonna map out the layout of the drop that I want to put in my trail. So, here it is. Hey guys, so, this is the beginning of my trail, and that wheelbarrow up there is mine. And you kind of have to go uphill and use this, this that right there is kind of like a wall ride, and then you continue on with the trail. And here's a second way if you don't want to do that wall, that tiny wall ride right there. And here's just all my tools. Um, there, it also has some a little bit of water in it, but that's fine. There's my new pickaxe, and here, here's my trail through here. We kind of pump this little roll right here, go down it. There's not too much to go up on, but you know that's fine. Anyways, we go through here a little bit, and then we go through this little part that used to be sketchy because there used to be a rock right there right there and if and you'd have to go right beside the rock so your handlebar wouldn't hit the tree so that was kind of sketchy until we moved that rock then we have this little berm right here that you can't really use unless you come down here and hit the end since you have to go up through there and hit it and you barely have anything to hit but it still works Anyways, right through here, down that way is where we want to build our drop. I'll show you it in just a second. Right here is where I split off into a different trail. I want to make this trail like a jump line. And this trail like a North Shore, North Shore type trail. Which is why we're going to build a wooden drop. Not today, but we're going to map it out. And here's this little, and here's this big rock right here that you can kind of like it's like a roll off basically because there's nothing under it you go off that anyways um so this trail is going to continue up through there and this one's going to go that way too since that way since they are both going downhill and so anyways i need some names for the trails this one's real sure that one's going to be a jump line so as we go you can like Tell me some stuff that kind of relates to the trails and give me some names. So here's a little berm right here. And I'm surprised how much speed you can carry off that thing. It's, you can carry a lot of speed. And it's right here where we want to build the drop. Be like right here. Right there. Because if I come over here, you have some good elevation to drop off the rest of the way down so I made a little bit of a split right here and I'll run this trail up just a tad bit and then I'll connect that about like right there where that tree right there is tiny tree anyways since this has some good elevation I'm gonna build it right here and we're gonna kind of lay it out today or try to but first I want to show you my latest tools and so, I know I was talking about that earlier, but I'm going to talk about it again. Anyways, it, it's just like a really good pickaxe type thing that has this on the end, which I use most of the time whenever I'm in dirt. Kind of like a shovel, basically. I got that earlier, and this I got today for my birthday. And this thing is sick. Like, you can rake everything Please, you can just lay that on. It's about, it's a little bit wider than I want for a single track, but it'll be fine. If I want to get it skinny, I can do it like this sideways. But for, like, the jump line that I want to build, I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. Okay, let's get back. Wait, first, I'm going to show you my wheelbarrow. It has 
this PVC pipe on the side, which I, which I screwed on there, and it works pretty well. It works better whenever you shove two tools in it, into it because if you just leave it like this, it's going to rattle around. But, and it also, and another plus of putting two tools in it is well, you can put two tools in it. There, you can have multiple tools since all these stick out so far. It's just so much better to put it in here where it goes just about as far as that. And hello, Ginger. Yes, I named my dog Ginger. I don't really. I didn't really come up with that, but I like it. So anyways, let's get back to planning up the drop. So I'm at the saddle and I didn't do it on video since, well, it is really hard to do it even without me being on video. But basically, it's gonna be about six foot long and two foot high. It's gonna be a little over six foot and two foot, and like two foot one inch high but it's about six foot and two inches. I mean, two foot. Six foot, two foot. <laughs> Anyways, it's on the end about right where that is, since I needed something to mark it. End of it right there. It's gonna start right here. It's gonna go out, and I know that it's a small, if it's a small one, and I can make it bigger by going down that way since there's even more elevate. I'm sorry, it's more at elevation. But for starters, we, we'd be too scared to do it that high. But the stuff is going to get bigger the farther we go because we'll get more used to this stuff. Maybe even one day I'll tear this down and build it farther out. Maybe even like right, end it right here next to this tree. So that way, I would have a, a lot more. You know, like three foot, maybe. I don't know. But for right now, it's just gonna be like two foot high, six foot long. So I want like a four by four at the end, and I'm gonna dig it into the ground pretty deep and put it in there. And then I'm gonna have a two by four, I'm pretty sure. No, maybe something bigger like a two by six or something run across here and nail into that or, yeah and screw into that and we're gonna put some planks on top those like we're gonna cut up some two by fours and put them on top and plank it all the way to the end and they're gonna be about I don't know I don't want it to be wide because I like sketchy stuff okay let me pull out my tape measure so, that's one foot. Sorry. And, anyways, that's one foot right there. So, yeah, one foot will work. Yeah, that'll work. So, I'm making, like, one foot long each. And I'll space them out pretty far since I don't want to use a whole bunch of wood. So, basically, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to run the trail that way, like I said earlier. And there's a creek down there, so we can go over that creek. I think that both these are going to go over the creek sooner or later. So, if that helps name the trails or anything. Anyways, just to say, just show you the trail and that our first feature ever built here was a berm. I'm it was a berm, I think. It has all these rocks if that helps you name anything either. Two. So this is not this is big rock. If you have a name for it. So jump line and forgot what it's called. Yeah, North Shore. Jump line North Shore. And they're all and they're both gonna cross over the creek. So if you have any name suggestions, please let me know. Okay, and that's the end of the video. And like I said, we're going to be doing this like GMBN, where they're not all in the same video. So, well, I mean, like they're not all going to, we're not all going to be together in each video. Some, we will be in some videos, but a lot of them we're just going to be like one person or two person will be get, will be together. So, anyways, that's all for now. 
Okay, bye.